Welcome Virgo, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today I have your birthday tarot reading for September 2021. So it looks really great. You have the page of pentacles. So a message is coming in about your career or money. So this is a good message coming in. So either you want a little money or you get an upgrade or you get, you know, it's the kind of message where you say, you enter the, the airplane and they tell you, oh, you've paid economy class, but the only seat we have is in business class. So you get that. So it's a positive message concerning your career, your, fi your money, your finances, and also your material life. Yeah, it's a little gift from the universe. Um, then you have your own card. You're showing up in your own reading. Here is the hermit. So this is perfect for you. Your energy is very strong in that month of September. So with this card, it can mean you shine shine your own light from within, you have your own light here and you're perfectly fine with only your own light shining. So you are definitely not needing anyone to help you in this month because you are perfectly satisfied with yourself, by yourself, you're in your element, so to say. And then something is here that makes you a little worried because with the Eight of Swords, you're very much up in your head about something. So what is this in your life that's going on in your head all the time where you think, ah, oh, this is not going to be solvable, things like this. But a message is coming in. The Page of Swords is here. So you might learn some new information which will help you remove this um, blindfold from your eye and finally see a solution for that. Because this is a message coming in concerning new new info that you need, you, you learn some things, maybe you study, maybe you put your nose in the books, maybe you find out something on YouTube that will just help you solve that problem that kept going through your head all the time. So this is a help coming in. And then we have wonderful, the Ace of Swords with the Empress. Uh, I'm sorry, the Ace of Wands with the Empress. So this is fantastic because the Ace of Wands is a card of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is a card of creativity, passion, new beginnings, abundance. And this is boosting or supporting this energy because the Empress is the card of growth. Yeah, so if you want to, for example, if you want to become pregnant, then this card would help you here in September. If you don't want to become pregnant, then of course you should take some precautions because this is the card of fertility, okay? So in other... Uh, aspects of your life. This would just mean that things are growing. Yeah, You have a growing passion for a new project where you put all of your energy in. And this is really um, blooming. It's, it's coming to flourishion with this card. Yeah, So your, your creative project, whether that's writing a book or being an artist or whatever, is going to grow here. So that's what I have for you. I'm going to pull one final card from the deck about positive affirmations. Is there a positive affirmation for Virgo, please, for September? Virgo, September, please. Oh, we've got two. We've got I dream big and I live fully, which absolutely fits to the Empress energy. And we have I promise to forgive myself. So maybe that thing that was up in your head here, this eight of swords, where you kept on thinking and thinking, maybe it was something you did in the past with, where you feel a little bit guilty for, but you need to forgive yourself, okay? So there's no way around it. You, in order to get on with your life, you need to forgive yourself, yeah? Maybe ask for forgiveness if another person is involved. If a person is involved that does not live anymore, then you can always ask a medium or talk to them in spirit. So you will find a way out of this, okay? But I don't think it's something big or major because the other cards are so fantastic for you in September that I have a good feeling about this. So if you like this reading, leave me a like. If you want to subscribe, don't forget to hit that little bell button as well. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you for already almost 3,000 subscribers. Goodbye!